Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a project share of some of the new dies coming out February 1st from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I've done a couple little projects so far, so I wanted to share with you some of the dies that I've used um, thus far. So first off, let me show you the die. Um, this one is called Conversation Hearts, and there's six hearts in there, and there's, um, cuts out the words too, so love you, um, let it shine, too cute, best friends, stay sweet, it's really a cute set. So, let me show you what I've, <clears throat> a couple of things I've made with that one. So the way it's made, it makes it look, you know, it gives it a three dimensional look with showing, you know, the, um, you know, like the edge of it right there. So these are pretty simple, just cut them out, backed them with different colors so they would, you know, show through on this part here. And just a couple little tiny embellishments. So I think that turned out really cute. So there's that one. And then I did this one. This one I put the letters back in after I cut them out of a different color. Just some little chipboard pieces and little word sentiments. This one out of foil. I left the letters in there. Um, took another piece and just kind of layered over the top in a different color. And then just some little ephemera pieces and stuff from the collection I'm using, which is still um, uh, Simple Stories Hard Eyes. So. Isn't that really cute? So there's those three that I made for that. Okay, and then we have, um, <clears throat> let's see. <coughs> Next up I used, I think I shared these on my Instagram. I used the um, fringe butterfly dies. Um, this is the small and this is the large. Yeah, so I think there's a medium available also. I didn't receive that one, so these are the ones I used. So let me show you what those look like. If I can get them out here. So these I didn't decorate. All I did was put them together. So I cut them out the different um, out of different. Um, this one, the small one I've used. Um, there's pattern paper for the first layer, but then after that I used <clears throat> um, crepe paper, and then I stitched each of the layers on, and then put the, um, you know, the butterfly body on top, layered that up too. I think that turned out really pretty. And like I said, these aren't even embellished, they're just, they look really pretty stitched. Let's see, there's another one of the small ones here, right there. Those gorgeous, and then here's the large. These ones I used all pattern paper, but I see again I stitched them all on. But I did use pattern paper for this one rather than the crepe paper. Turned out so cute. <clears throat> so here you can see the difference between the small and the large. Very cute. Really cute embellishments to send off to someone or to use on a project. So there's those. And then I had them inside here. Let me show you this next one. Um, this one is called the gift card gift box. Quite a few pieces. My favorite piece right here is this top piece that um, embosses this pretty design out of it. Really cute. <clears throat> so here is this one that I made. Just, to, just um, you know, embellished it a little bit on top. Some of the ephemera pieces, a flower from my stash. This is the um, the new banner, <clears throat> Valentine banner from the January release that I have it all layered up. I had one more that I had made, so I went ahead and added it on the top of this box. So the box is kind of like a looks kind of like a pizza box, kind of. And then when you open it up. 
you have the gift card holder inside. So the gift card kind of pops up. You can put your gift card right in there. I added some pattern paper, you know, to the bottom and to the top, and then just put this um, <clears throat> foam thicker piece up here. And then this is down here is plenty big to hold other stuff. So you could gift, you know, a little, you know, some little embellishments or something, plus a gift card. You could, you know, I don't know, put some jewelry in there, maybe a little bit of, um, I don't know, all kinds of little small stuffs could fit in there. And then you just close it back up and there you go. Look how cute that is. So again, that's the gift, gift card gift box. So cute. And you can use, <clears throat> You can use the, here's another one I made, and this one I just made the gift box, not, I didn't insert the gift card. So, like I say, it's kind of like a pizza box. So, you could just use it like this also if you didn't want to. I didn't decorate or anything, I just layered it up with some paper. Again, here's that, I love that design. Look how pretty that design is on there. That's in, in the paper. <clears throat> so cute. This is just some ephemera from the collection, or thickers from the collection. This is a, um, a Scrap Diva a flower that I made previously. I can't remember if this might be the edge flower, maybe. I can't remember for sure, but it's one I had already made previously, and I just pulled it out because it matched and added it on there. But love this box. <clears throat> and it is, <clears throat> let me see how what the size of it is. It's about four and a half by... By four so a good size for gifting stuff so very cute so I made those two um, let's see next up I made <coughs> using the next die is called the loaded pocket and it's the small one that I received okay so you have two different <coughs> shapes available so I made um, some of each so I'll show you so you have this one <clears throat> so it comes with this is your base piece back here the kind of the scalloped edge and then this is the layering piece with stitched and then it has a pocket right here this is the pocket is the black and white and then it also comes with a so here's the pocket nice it also comes with a layering piece which I didn't layer on this one but I did on another one so I'll show you that and then I just you know just simply um, decorated it up a little bit so, and I just put a plain white piece on the back I put an eyelet there I'm going to be using this so cute love that isn't that pretty I got it up on foam so there's that one and then there's also this shape so you can see the two shapes compared so both really pretty this one this one's a tad bit smaller, but not much. <clears throat> so again, the, the base piece out of the white and then the pattern paper, put an eyelet in there. Um, it's up on foam again. Um, this orange piece back here is the pocket. And then again, I layered up just some uh, uh, pieces from the collection. Okay. So cute. Um, these tags are, let's see. The scalloped one is about three inches wide by about five inches tall and the other shape is yeah, about three and a quarter inches wide and about four and three quarter inches um, tall. <clears throat> so you can see the difference there. Really cute. <clears throat> okay, and then, sorry. <clears throat> And then this is another one of the scalloped. I got it on pink um, glitter paper, and then I backed it with a regular pattern paper. And then here's the layering piece, some more ephemera pieces. Okay, here's the pocket. The pocket is the pink, and then the black and white is the layering piece on this one. It's mostly covered up because I used another one of these, um, of the conversation hearts as part of my ephemera on this one. And then some other pieces from the collection on top. This one again, um, let's see, did this one I put the letters back in? No, I didn't put the letters back in, um, but I punched them out so that they would show the color through that I backed it with. So cute. So a nice little pocket there. 
So those are my projects thus far. And um, <clears throat> yeah, really cute. So get ready. These will all be available. Oh, let me show you this. These, this says Happy Mail. It's got the um, shadow piece with it also. This is part of the, of the um, <clears throat> loaded pocket set. So you could add these you know, on here somewhere if you wanted to. I didn't add them onto this, but I did cut them out so you could see. So that is that. These will all be available February 1st. I did an unboxing video, but of course I didn't have the links yet because they're not up yet. But as soon as they are on the eve of the release date, I will um, be back on that night to edit my video and add... <clears throat> Goodness, I can't speak today. <coughs> I'm frog in my throat. Um, I will be back on, I'll be, go back on um, the eve of the release and I will add in all the links for you as soon as they're up on the site so that you can find them easily um, along with a link to the site and a link to my uh, my affiliate link and then I'll have my discount code listed. It's Polka10. It will be listed in the description also. So make sure you check back so you can grab these up. You guys know that Erica's dies go super fast so if you want something right away, make sure you get right on to get them. Um, she usually restocks and stuff, but then you have to wait a little bit for them. So <clears throat> jump right on as soon as they're available to um, pick up your items. They're such cute and fun items. And they a lot of them are so cute to go with the, the January release also. So as you can see, I, I use some of my stuff from January's release to add on. <clears throat> I have some other projects too that I haven't shared yet but um, from the January release but I will um, do those soon. Okay thank you so much for watching and um, hope everybody's having a great day. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.